the exterior of the building has a brilliant kind of frame and it's very very easy to arrive at a composition where there's a clear focus on what's important and then look for ways to incorporate other layers to the photo so it works on different levels. If we go down to the geometry tool, let's see what Lightroom does if we just click on the auto. I think we just need to tweak the straightening ever so slightly. Click enter. I'm finding that the elements on either side of the image are slightly distracting. So if we try as high to crop, let's try four by five and see how that looks. Not quite happy that the image is level enough, so let's just try and correct that again. So here's our starting point for the edit. So we're just going to do some minor adjustments. Just going to lift up the exposure to see what we have to work with and the details. We don't want to go too high. I'm not going to touch the controls for the time being. We're going to bring the highlights back just to see what that does to the neon lights, which is great. We definitely need to lift the shadows just to bring in a bit more detail around this subject. I recommend going all the way and then just bringing them back. Leave a little bit of atmosphere. Around there looks pretty good. Then we're gonna look at our whites. And if we hold the Alt button, we can just see what's clipping in the image. Nothing's clipped at all, which is good news. Did slightly underexpose the photo so that we preserved all of that information in the neons. And then just to give it a bit more lift in the dark areas, we're just gonna lift the blacks. I may add a little bit more contrast. That's looking reasonably well balanced to me. Let's just do a slight bit of color correction on the floor because I don't really like this kind of cast coming through in the tiles here. So we're gonna remove a little bit of this green on the luminance slightly. We'll do the same with the yellows. Just add a bit more luminance to that. Brighten up that floor. Just reduce the saturation ever so slightly. And if we just shift the hue away from green, just play with the reds because this is the predominant color in the image. Don't want it going too orange. We'll maybe just shift that to kind of minus nine saturation, not too much. And then let's just reduce the luminance just to mute down everything. We're pretty much done. It saves me a lot of time. Anything that can free me up to kind of spend more time doing what I love doing, which is street photography is a good thing.